I have been using DJI Osmo Mobile 2 gimbal for a few months now. I've been using it with my Android phone, which is Samsung Galaxy 6 and I noticed there is one mode, particularly in photo mode, called long exposure photography and light trail photography. Nobody is really talking about it. Why? And if you are new here, my name is Zdenka Darola. I work as a photographer for many, many years. I'm a former model and a few other things. I make tutorials and fun vlogs, so you might want to hit the subscribe button. Back to DJI Osmo Mobile 2 gimbal. When I was planning this video, I confess, I went online and I was looking for some kind of tutorials. I was looking for some final photos of long exposure photography being used or light trail. And to my surprise, I really couldn't find much there. There were only a few photos, but they were not those masterpieces I was looking for. I was looking for something which is literally gonna blow me away. And that made me wonder why is it bad? Is it not good at all? And as curious as I am, it made me grab the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 gimbal and my phone and explore it. So I'm standing here right now and uh, I want to try it out. And it did actually remind me a photo shoot I did many, many years ago when I used to do modeling with Toronto photographer Ivan Otis. He used a technique called light painting. The photos turned out so artistic. It was just beautiful. It looked like it was painted. If you want to check out his work, the link is in the video description below. I believe he has still a lot of light painting photos on his website. So let's turn on DJI Osmo Mobile 2 gimbal and let me show you what I am actually talking about. Go to DJI Go app, hit photo mode and go to long exposure or light trail. Well, first and foremost, I tried to use this feature handheld and it didn't work. The results were blurry. I used cheap tripod with it and since it shook here and there, it was very blurry too. So make sure you use really nice sturdy tripod which is not going to move anywhere. And I found this nice river as you can hear and see. So let me show you the second option which is the long exposure. Well, the nice thing about it that if I am not using DJI Osmo Mobile 2 gimbal, if I'm just using regular camera app, I have to think about timer. I have to time it. So how long do I want the shutter stay open for? But if I'm using this DJI Go app, I hit the start and I'm watching the photo being produced. I'm watching the photo being taken. And when I feel like it's done, I just hit the stop button. So here are some samples I took with the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 gimbal in the long exposure mode. And I would use this mode for movements such as water, uh, cars going by, very fast movements. And the second option DJI GO app offers is light trail. And there are so many things you can do here. You can get really creative there. And the easiest thing is to actually grab maybe your flashlight like this one. What I would do, like if I'm taking photos of myself, let's say, or for some different object, um, I would press start and then start painting, light painting the areas I want lit up. So let's say a little bit here, a little bit here, and a little bit over there. Now, as you are light painting, you will be able to see it in the DJI Go app uh, when you are doing the light trail. And once you hit stop, you will end up with a photo 
with the area's mice lilit. So here are some samples I took of objects during the day and I didn't even have to wait for the dark because it looks way better if you take that during the day as you are light painting. Um, I will show you before when I'm not using any lights, just taking a regular photo and then when I'm actually doing the light painting how it looks like when it's finished. Well, now we know we can use it with flashlight, but when else can we use light trails? I was in the summer testing it out during a storm. It was set up very nicely safely behind the window and I was watching the storm unfold. And as there were flashes appearing on the sky, it was actually painting those flashes in. So set up the tripod, set a DJI on mobile too, somewhere very nicely safe and uh, see the storm painting the sky. Or you can capture fireworks or traffic lights, you know, cars as they are moving their lights. Or you can grab a little laser light and write a message during night, you know, when it's very, very dark. Or you can play with sparkles. There's so many options. Isn't that fun? You can just play around with this. Well, if you haven't tried it, just try it out. So that's it for today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked today's video and subscribe for more videos like these. If you have any questions or comments or simply want to say hello, just do so in the uh, comments section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Ahoy.